evening. I hope you're having a blessed Sunday. It is so good to see you. This morning, my dad and I had the awesome privilege to attend church in Jacksonville, Florida this morning. We were able to hear the evangelist Reinhard Bonnke speak. What an amazing testimony he has, an amazing ministry. God has given him the ability to preach to millions of people, and his ministry has seen over 73 million souls saved. That's just, in some ways, mind-boggling to many of us, I'm sure, but what an amazing ministry that God has blessed with Evangelist Bonke. People in Nigeria have come to know the Lord by the millions, even in one single crusade. It's just an amazing testimony of what God can do. Evangelist Bonke started out, and his first meeting in Africa was with five people. Not one of the five gave their heart to Jesus Christ. The second meeting was in a stadium, the National Stadium, in one of the states there, and a hundred people showed up. But from there on, it kept growing and growing and growing, because Evangelist Bonke was faithful in a few things. The Bible says, if you're faithful in a few things, I'll make you rulers over many. And that's what many of us, we get discouraged, we get tired, we get disappointed with life, we get worried and stressed. A lot of times things don't go our way. A lot of times we have big plans and only something small happens. But you know, God's will is perfect. Everything we do matters. Everything we do is important. And sometimes if we don't feel like doing something, but God has called us to do it, we need to get up off the couch and go do it anyway. And you know, I'm preaching to myself as much as anybody else because none of us are perfect. The Bible says the only person in the world who was ever perfect was Jesus Christ himself. None of us are perfect at all. In fact, we're all sinners. The Bible says that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But there's one redeeming, wonderful verse in the Bible that says that everyone can be saved. It's in Joel. In the book of Joel, it's in chapter 2, and the verse is verse 32. It says, And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. It doesn't say the rich people, the poor people, the short people, the tall people. It doesn't say anything. It says everyone. That includes every man, woman, boy, and girl on this planet. Doesn't matter where you come from. Doesn't matter where you live. Doesn't matter who you are. Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. That's why he gave his life for you on a cross. He died a horrible, just painful death just so that you should have eternal life and salvation, and redemption, and freedom in Christ. So whatever it is you're going through right now, I don't know where you are right now, but maybe you're struggling with a sickness or illness. Maybe you're in the hospital. Maybe you're in the nursing home, feeling like no one cares. Maybe you're in prison, feeling like you'll be in there for the rest of your life. Or maybe you have a life sentence, and you are going to seriously be in there for the rest of your life. Maybe you have a child who's gone astray, and... You pray for them night and day, and it just seems like they never, ever even call or send an email or text. Maybe you have some emotional or mental battle that you're dealing with that nobody else even knows about. Maybe that you've just come to the end of your rope, and you feel like giving up. I want to encourage you, whatever your situation is, nothing, nothing is too big for God to handle. There is nothing beyond his reach. You will never get out of the reach of Jesus Christ and his love. He loves you closer than a brother. He loves you so much that he died for you. And that's just an amazing promise. It just, it just warms my heart. It gets me excited because to think that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords loves me. You know, when I was born, I was born lifeless. And the doctors gave up hope. But my parents, they didn't give up. They prayed, Jesus, help. It wasn't an eloquent prayer. They didn't read some book or have someone pray over them. They just called out and cried out, Jesus, help. The doctor said I'd be a vegetable if I survived at all, but I got a 4.0 GPA on my master's degree program, and I'm doing just fine. But you know what? I say all that not to brag, but to brag on God. Because when God does something, He does it right. 
And I'm living proof of that fact. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. I'm a miracle, and I thank God for that every single day that I get out of bed in the morning and every single night when I go to bed at night because it's His love and His grace and His mercy and His healing touch that brought this little girl home from the hospital and led me to do all the things that I've been able to do and led me to this moment right now when I'm talking to you. I don't believe that you're watching this video by chance. Perhaps you just happened across it on Facebook or YouTube, but I have a feeling that maybe someone out there is watching this video and you just need to hear that there is hope. Because even on the end of that rope, there's hope. There's hope found in Jesus Christ alone. He's the only lasting hope we have in this whole entire universe. And the hope in Jesus Christ will never, ever, ever go away. Whatever it is you're facing today, call in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Whatever it is, there's nothing out of the reach of Jesus Christ. Perhaps you don't know who Jesus Christ is. Maybe you need to ask him into your heart. The Bible also says that today is a day of salvation. So whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you're struggling with in your mind, your body, your soul, whatever it is, call on the name of Jesus Christ. Make him the Lord of your life. Tell him you know that you're a sinner. Ask him for forgiveness of your sins. Tell him that you believe that he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and you want him to be the Lord of your life and have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ so that you too can know this lasting hope, this joy, this peace forevermore, and have eternal life with Christ in heaven. I want to encourage you today. Remember, there's hope in Jesus Christ. He loves you so very much, friends. God bless you. If you need prayer, or just want to know more about Jesus Christ and His love, send me an email today. I'd love to pray with you. I'd love to encourage you in the faith and remind you that Jesus loves you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care and have a blessed week.